What is going on everybody? This is Jacob at Claire's Racing and Fabrication. I want to do a quick walk around video of the Mach 1. So here she is, 1972 Mustang Mach 1. It is a Q code. I'll show you right here. You can see Q code, dark green with the silver. And it had a dark green leather interior. I forgot the color, whatever that color is called. Now, originally it came with a 350, 351 Cleveland and a C6 transmission. All numbers matching, but that's not what's going in here. I'll show you in a minute. Basically, when I got the car, it's been sitting over there for about just about 10 years or so. This has been sitting there. My dad's had it. It was a rust bucket. I mean, the major parts of the car were okay, but, you know, the typical parts in a Mustang were all rusted out. So, when I first got it up here, pretty grimy. You know, took it all apart, cut out all the rust. So from the front to the back, we got new radiator support, new front apron, both new rear aprons, new towel, both new floor pans, some patch panels on the back, and a new trunk pan, and the new floor supports on the passenger side were rusted out, so I replaced that. And then I also put in frame connectors the front subframe follows along and it connects the rear subframe so the whole car is pretty sift and solid. And then I put in a roll cage. <laughs> that's, that's the chicken right there. Oh. Hey. Oh, Oh, wow. Boom! So we got an 8 or 10 point cage. SNW race cars, 472 Mustang, a fastback. It is a 1 and 5 eighths EWS steel roll cage that I mid welded in because I don't have a TIG welder at my house as of right now. Um, so got that in there. Had my friend come and uh, he helped me put in the dash bars and do the top halo. Because you need you need more than just two hands to really hold it in there and tack it and get it all square and make it look nice. I mean, for putting it in myself, you know, all everything's tight, everything's everything's even, everything's level, square. You know, I'll let a professional did it because I am technically a professional. So there it is. And I painted it gold, add a little bit of swag. You know what I mean? So I think the dark green is gold, some black. Looking good. And as far as interior goes, you know, obviously you got this nice turkey that I got off a hundred dollars on Facebook. Made some seat mounts, ran some sheet metal to reinforce the floor all the way across, front and back. Did a little 90 degree bracket for eighth inch aluminum. Bolted to it, has two adjustments. So me being six foot seven, it's as far back as it'll go. You have to do a quick release as well. At some point, these long legs gonna be able to get in there very easily and I'd rather not look an idiot when I pull up and try to get out of the car you know is what it is uh pretty much this can do a holly dash it's gonna have a holly terminator uh it's gonna have heater controls I have a shifter there gonna have the switch panel somewhere up there as far as the wiring goes I'm gonna try to keep the stock wiring for headlights brake lights turn signals horn windshield wipers you know high beam low beam Basically just like the normal stuff in the car is gonna keep it, but then the switch panel is gonna be like for the engine control and other stuff I'll add on later. And that's pretty much the interior. My dad uh, got all new seals. Got he put all the new seals in all over. We finished the inside of the doors, got everything working. So the window goes up and down very nicely. So it's my dad for doing that. Exterior going to be looking like this. It might not be as dirty, so I'll clean it, seal it as is. I don't want to clear coat it because I still want it to be kind of like rusty looking, you know? Just no one's really gonna pay attention to it. So, that is interior. Uh, wheels, probably gonna stay in the back. I'm probably gonna do a two, 295 or 275. 28 inch tall, uh, 15 inch radial tire. On the back, gonna try to do some small tire stuff with this thing. 
as of right now, it just has a nine inch mini spool. I believe it's like a 323, some stupid long and 28 spline axles. That's not gonna stay. But for now, to get it running and driving, that's what we're, that's what we're gonna be rolling on. And as far as suspension is concerned, stock suspension, you know, leaf spring, all new bushings, all new ball bearing, uh, uh, ball joints, one inch lowering block, and I cut two links out of the spring in the front. And I think she's sitting really nice. Might could go another inch, you know, but what can you do? Let's go ahead and go under the hood here of Linda. Ooh. As you can see, it's not a 351 Cleveland. It is a 5.3 liter Gen 3 uh, LM7, 62 heads, pretty much your cookie cutter. You know, watching the junkyard, find a Tahoe, pull the engine, whatever. But this is actually the engine out of my 2003 Silverado that was turboed, that blue number seven piston, which I have laying over here. That blue number seven, you can see it uh, over boosted by like pretty much all the boost, like 50 pounds or something like that. And I, was, and I was about 30 minutes from home. It was blowing white smoke. I drove it home. It was fine. Pulled the engine. I had another one that I was spare that I put in. So I had this sitting. Same as the transmission. I had a 480 that I had built that I was going to put in the truck, but I ended up not because the transmission was fine in it. Sold the truck. Had this engine in trans. And I'm like, I have this car that my dad's got. It's been, been sitting there rusting out. We got Me and my dad got some sheet metal. Uh, I put it all in, got the cage, got everything. Didn't really expect to do all of this, but that's how it kind of spirals out of control when you're building a race car. And then also for the piston thing, found somebody that had some old rods and pistons laying around there. I just bought one off of them for like 20 bucks. Uh, got some rings filed down and sized, and then I also got some bearings sized with the plastic gauge. So it should be just fine. I know what you're thinking. Why would you put an LS in here? Because most guys are gonna be like, oh, you should have put Coyote. You should have built a small block forward. You should have built a big block forward. And it's like, well, I actually want it to run and I want to drive it. So that's why I did it. And also I don't have 20 grand to spend on doing a Coyote swap. Um, starting from the bottom, uh, custom engine mounts, a Wii end or Y end front sump pan, which fits in there really nice. Cause that's that's kind of the very one of the variables I was shooting is I didn't want it too far back and I didn't want it too far forward to hit that and I didn't want it too far up too far down so it's like you know we in front sump and it's an inch cut out of the cross member so it sits back far enough so I can have plenty of room up here for everything so it was just kind of like that was just the best way to put it. Uh, ICD billet, lower alternator mount, electric power steering, like you saw in my later video. Uh, truck manifolds flipped, two and a half inch V-bands. Can have a turbo sitting here. 2800 stall billet front plate converter. Hardened shafts, I believe. Uh, red Alto clutches, choline steels, modified HD2 shift kit. But anyways, there she is. Beauty. And as you come back here, uh, I'm working on the fuel system right now. I've got dual 340 pumps, two 100 micron filters, and have a 30 micron that's going to go in line when I, I get all the plumbing done. So it's got a sump. Turn line goes right into the sump. Dash sits return. Dash 8 feed. Dash 8 lines all the way around. Oh, it also has a new taillight panel, as you can see. So yeah, that's going to do it uh, for the video. That's the car. It's a quick walk around. I mean, of course, there'll be stuff I missed. You'll see it as time goes along. So I'll be making more videos of what I'm doing. Yeah, that's going to do it. The first 72 Mustang LS swap. I'm claiming it. I have not seen any more 72 Mustangs with an LS. I mean, I've seen like Fox bodies and like old school Mustangs back in like 60s. But I haven't seen any 70s uh, like these. So that's the first one. I'm calling it. Uh, next couple of things I'm going to do is be drive shaft, ECU, plumb the fuel system, wire it, put the glass in, finish the cooling system, and hot side. Hot side and cold side for the turbo. Mount the turbo. A little small stuff, you know, that always takes the longest, really. And that's pretty much it. So you know the deal. Uh, like and subscribe.
to follow the build. Thank you for watching, everybody out there that are watching on the internet of Mach 1.